Hi guys, so here's another awesome game I've never heard of, and that's Slipstream from Capcom. So one of the reasons this game is interesting is this game came out in 1995, and as you can see, it's a sprite scaling game. And in 1995, uh, Ridge Racer had come out two years previously, um, and Virtual Racing came out in 1992. So the industry had already kind of moved on from sprite scaling games, which really were dominant in the, the late 80s um, and by the mid 90s this game just wasn't relevant anymore and so this game saw a very small release um, barely barely kind of left to prototype stage um, and so in 1995 it was released in in South America uh, and that was about it it never saw a kind of European US or Japanese release um, and so not many people will have heard of this game but seeing as it came out in in 1995 it's kind of you know you've kind of optimized um what you can do with sprite scaling um and so this game is based in f1 you see the teams here this is this really the teams from the 1993 formula one season so we've got mclaren here uh ferrari uh there's the williams uh and the benetton here so let's use the benetton and um, this has you know each of the cars has different balance of kind of handling um, acceleration, speed, and, and grip in the rain. So the, the Benetton here is the um, the best uh, handling car, and I've had the most success with this so far. And so, if you look at it, I mean, this game looks great. I mean, I, I quite like the, the sprite scaling aesthetic, um, but this game is fast, um, it's, there's a lot of colors. There's also like a little bit of speech as we'll probably, probably hear. Um, and, and it plays really good. I mean, it's it's totally an arcade racer. It's not overly difficult. Um, you just sort of maybe release the accelerator a little bit in some of the tighter bends. So there we heard a bit of the... Uh, oh, I steered too much because I was talking to the camera. Um, yeah, so you get these turbo boosts um, and the, the commentator shouts uh, slipstream. It doesn't really sound like slipstream. Um, I don't know whether that's just the kind of uh, Japanese accent of the guy that's that's talking, or whether it's um, or whether it's just the the compression of the audio. It may even be Mame. It may sound better on an original cab, but the probability of you finding an original cab is um, is slim to none. Um, I think uh, only around um, 150 or so are known known to exist. As I say, it only came out in in South America. And so, yeah, as I say, this is this is F1 based. There are four tracks um, in the game. Um, this is the first one. This is uh, Germany. So I think you've got Germany, Japan, Australia, and Monaco. Um, and I'm guessing Capcom were looking to get an F1 license because I mean you can see all the sponsor logos. Um, and it's got the the actual cars from the 1993 season, but you know this doesn't have a, a for, uh, an official um, Formula One Formula One license. So oh, we've done quite well there to win. Um, so yeah, as I say, lacking the lacking the F1 the F1 license, and as I say, it came out in 1995. Yet the um, the cars are all from the 1993 season. So my guess is that you know Capcom had this in development and maybe we're going to park it, um, but eventually decided to to put it out. Um, but it never it never came out until 1995. And so, as I say, the sprite scaling wasn't really going to cut it in 1995. And cars from the 1993 season weren't really going to be much appeal to anyone, especially in say Europe, where you know F1. Is pretty big maybe not so much in the US um, F1 is more niche more niche there um, but to play this in 2021 I mean I don't really care if this game came out in 1995 or 1985 um, to me it's a fun arcade racer plenty of pace um, enough challenge to be kind of you know, it's not hugely difficult, but there's certainly um, certainly challenge challenge there, um, and it's got it's got you know multiple tracks, multiple cars, 
um, and a few modes too. We can go back and have a look at the modes. We're doing the kind of world championship mode here, which is really the you know eight car eight car race mode. And actually thinking about it, you know eight cars, you know number of cars shouldn't make a difference, but you know in the arcades it kind of you know changes the appeal. If you think um, uh, Daytona um, Daytona USA came out in the arcades, I think that's probably. 94 probably came out probably came out before this you know that game would have 40 cars on track so just from a kind of technical standpoint you know this is very much behind the times um but as i said it doesn't stop it being fun there we go i mean this is how the, the difficulty ramps up from um the opening track is fairly straightforward um, and then it gets a bit more difficult so let's not continue and then we'll have a look at um, some of the other game modes. Let's put a credit in. So you see on the left we've got um, time trial here, world championship that we just did and then this passing contest. So I, I did this did this earlier, it's kind of it's quite fun. Um, and this is also strange, you saw we've had kind of um, we've got a mix of Spanish text, um, Japanese text here on the difficulty um, and English text there as well. So um, it really is a kind of mishmash of things with Capcom kind of showing that this game is almost barely finished. It certainly wasn't, you know, it was a, probably a last minute. They were like, okay, let's just localize it for, for South America, but without, oh, still gonna hide here, um, but without fully thinking it through, I guess. Um, and so this mode is literally just catch cars and pass them. So um, it's still pretty fun. Um, I guess very much kind of rooted in arcade style, arcade style gaming here, where it's just cars appearing on screen and you, you overtake them. But yeah, you've got two laps. And so the aim is to, to overtake 34 cars uh, in those two laps. And then if you do that, you, you get to the next, next, next track. So let's see if we can we can do this. I managed to get to the third track when I was playing earlier, so um, let's see if we can qualify. So also in this, um, there's this turbo system. So in the bottom right, we see um, we see these kind of gold uh, turbo um, buttons. So yeah, if you hit the the start button. Um, then it gives you a gives you a turbo boost, and you basically kind of accrue these. Um, not sure exactly how, whether it's just time based or whether if you achieve certain things, you get um, get a boost. But you also you saw there, I didn't I didn't hit the turbo boost, but I got a bit of a boost. So I think you can get one from um, from slipstreaming other cars. There we go, and maybe overtaking them too. I'm not I'm not. 100% sure on the uh, exact rules of the game. But you know, it's an arcade game, so it shouldn't really matter. The idea is you just pick it up, play, have a quick blast, um, and this game is this game is great for that. Um, ah, disqualified. Ah, that's probably probably enough of um, playing anyway. So so yeah, I mean, I'd I'd really recommend taking a look at this. I think. You know, if you like uh, arcade racing games, if you like the kind of sprite scaling uh, aesthetic, it's it's well worth a look because, you know, compared to something like Outrun, I mean, I, I like Outrun, but this is much more intense, you know, because you've got the kind of windy, windy track, um, a lot more cars kind of come at you, um, and it's and it just kind of handles and feels and feels really nice. I've been playing here with a with a wheel and pedals. Um, and it's a good arcade racer. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this um, second one of these that I've done. Um, and, and maybe go check it out if you do check it out and like it. Um, yeah, go put a comment and, and let me know. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you soon.